Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Our last fight continues. Oh yeah, I should have let them aim first. That's okay. Yes, yes, don't worry, I remember. So I noticed that from up here you can actually... Ah. Shoot guys over here, yeah. And it'll take forever. But you can also... See guys over here. For all the good it'll do you. So this is a really good sniper tower that covers a lot of range. Oh yeah, while I'm up here, I'm going to look and see if I can understand Welkin's path. Because it looks like... Oh yeah, there's a little thing that you can cross over down there. Alright. Did all the attack downs I got really, like... Make it so I can't kill now? That's super lame. Luckily, I don't think Rosie's actually able to, like... Ain't no stopping me. Nice. Unfortunately, that does not mean that I get another chance to shoot, but... Leave it all to me. I might even send Welkin back up just to throw a grenade at them. Just because, like, Welkin will have the ability to move, Here we go. like, a pretty far amount. And throwing a grenade behind them. Watch out for the mines, dude. It's not the finish line, but it's still a pretty bad place to stumble. That was so pathetic. I know that that does delay uh, Welkin's ability to shoot. Get ready, but also, guys. like... It doesn't matter too much to me. And while we're here... Focus on that weapon of theirs. I think that means that we can... Yeah, we can cross over as Jane. So we can start moving Jane up. Interesting. Word, I like it. Taking the stage. So I think again it'll be I initially intended to have Jane on the other side shooting at them, but now I'm gonna scoot her up. That's not I can't no Wow. That's all I get for all that damage? Okay. Okay. Been waiting here. He's doing the smart thing and he does have his butt to the wall. Try to strike the enemy's flank. See about this then, huh? Thank you, Largo. Oh, dude, the way that the camera forces itself against the wall makes that shot actually look really cool. Um, okay. Now what? I guess I can scooch Jane up some more. Problem is that I can't do that much as Welkin. So maybe I'll have him... Ready to go. Gotta love nature. Shoot them in the back? Like a hero? Yeah. Now. Might have been able to kill the shock trooper, but... Nice work. Keep taking them down. Uh, if I had missed, he would have turned around and returned fire and like... I still don't know if I'm going to be able to survive, like, direct fire from uh, a shock trooper like that as a scout, you know? It's still, like, pretty hard. See, so, yeah, this looked this looked insurmountable, but it wasn't actually that bad. Zap him back. 
That's a barrel. Um, so yeah, like I literally, I went into the um, upgrades menu and then I just hit down on the last upgrade. You know, the quote unquote last upgrade and like, wow, he didn't give a shit. And yeah, there's literally just like a shitload more upgrades. And like they're they're split and they branch out and they there's a bunch of different options. Like you get way more upgrades than I thought you did. Like I don't know why I saw the fourth upgrade. I was like, oh, that's probably all of them. Oh, also, I also went to the um also also I went to the guy who gives you the upgrades, um, the man who gives you orders in the graveyard, who may or may not be a ghost. I went to him and I was like, hey man, I've got some spare XP. Can I have an order? And he was like, I don't remember any orders right now. I was so pissed about it. Just to send a message, you know? Um... Like, I had spare XP, so, like, not only do you need spare XP in order to uh, get something from him, you also specifically need to have that spare, ex spare XP yeah, that's right. right then and there. Like, you need to have it readily available, not just available. Welks, oh good. Are you hurt at all? I like how Alicia got shot no, and then came back team? at the camp and like we were unable Man, to through the enemy why couldn't why couldn't Welkin do that? Edelweiss. Wait, yeah we did. Now that you're back, we'll launch a tank offensive on your command. Alright, good. Squad seven, commence the attack. Are we gonna get a free turn in the tank? Nah, of course not. That's okay, we got some spare. Oh yeah. Enemy unit sighted at ten o'clock. Oops, sorry guys. Be sure to watch for return fire. I wanna like split the different the difference between them, yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Good. That, makes things a bit that couldn't be more of exactly Take what I wanted. Yeah. Oh, is this going to be a thing where, like, um... I literally needed to be Welkin so I could shoot that uh, that door. Yeah, look at that. I'll take care of it. Will you though? Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to bench Vice um, because I want to get a sniper in this tower because like the ability, like the amount of stuff that I can see from this tower is pretty great. Though actually, since we're moving up, maybe we shouldn't bench Vice from here, you know? How do we deal with this? Can we not get in there and shoot it? Because it's not giving me health bars. Here I come. Just so he knows. Uh, and then I got another one. Fuck if I know what to do with it. Oh, I see no more sure. tanks, so maybe we'll bench Jan. Thank you for your service. Yes, Jan, thank you. 
Yeah, again, I kind of wish that, like... I feel like, um... It is a valid cost to pay when, when it comes to... Uh, dealing with... Who am I thinking of? Yeah, wow. I can't believe that that's the official uniform. Here I come. You fool. Um, yeah, I think it is a valid cost to pay one turn to get a guy in, and then you have another guy. But I don't know how I feel about how, like, benching a guy costs something, and then you don't get a thing back from it. Perhaps it would be a little exploitable if, like, you could just, like, get a guy, bench him, especially if he was, if he had a command point on him. And you could just get another command point from him that way, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel bad about, like, benching a guy, and then it's like, okay, well, now he's gone, and that's all, you know? Like, sometimes I feel like I would be better served to just have just anyone, you know, rather than no one. Okay. So I can kill them as Entering Edelweiss. Combat. But I don't know if I will or should. Gotta love nature. Oh, that's the defense that's the line that she meant. Requesting backup. Yeah, can I can I shoot this? Oh, maybe I just have to bash through it. Largo, what's up? Yeah, ring a ding ding. There you go. We're under fire here. Requesting backup. Oh yeah, I bought some tank upgrades. That mean that I have like a whole bunch more tank juice now. Increased payload. My kind of town. Okay. I really want to see if I can shut down this mortar. Because earlier I was able to shoot down the gunnery because, like... I mean, I guess I don't fully know why I was able to shoot down the gunnery. Yeah, do I just need to be... Huh. Weird. I guess I... I guess it's just like a stage hazard then. It's not too much of a problem, so I guess I don't really care that much, but... Yeah, some to some to bear in mind, I suppose. My turn, okay. Okay. Make sure you stay calm. Yeah, you just leave it to me. Thank you, Edie, for helping me out. I like the name Edie. You don't see that a lot. The name, I mean. So he's looking at the tank, but that means I'm going to have to run into his line of sight. Don't let them near the camp. Cool. I think I can finish out. Get ready. Yeah, I think I can finish it here. Sweet. That's what you get. All smiles, man. That's cool by me. I'll reinforce here just in case there's any surprises, but. My turn, okay? Yeah, it's going in as Alicia. <laughs> Sweet. So, are we gonna, like, let the guy who's in the mortar go home, or. Operation complete. What? Shoot him, leaving it in an unmarked shallow grave. Yeah, that really wasn't that worrying, honestly. Seized a gun. Probably their sniper. Oh, yeah, from the ace. Oops, bump my mic. Pardonnez moi. Right, we're finishing chapter eight. That's pretty sweet. I should have said it's great, because it rhymes with eight.
We really missed you, boss. Yeah. Lieutenant, that is. Love that. Oh, and he has the big goofy smile. He's like, Isara. Love that. Aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? <laughs> you was worried about him, weren't you? You was. You're right, Delargo. I were. Welcome back, Wilkes. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. So am I. Here, let me pat your head with my dirty, dirty hand. Largo and Rosie, thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> <laughs> Having some dark hair, thank me. <laughs> well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. See, you gotta admit that, right? You can't be too nice to me. I gotta bring out the racial slurs to increase distance, you know? Maybe it's like Dragon Age 2, where like if you just become good enough friends with somebody, you just automatically sleep with them. So you just occasionally gotta, you know, add in a couple of things that'll annoy them so that they don't feel the need, you know? Welkin's, Welkin looks at that and he says, end conversation. All right. Chapter 9 is done. I feel good. Chapter 9. A Midsummer Incident. Oh, God. What is it now? That reminds me. Is Faldio all right? Archaeology student, tank commander, staff officer, man greaser, blithe charm, gregarious warmth. Every girl on campus knew him by name and reputation. Doesn't say he's dead. Okay, cool. Let's go to headquarters and see if I can get a thing from that guy. Ordinarily, I wouldn't do this on screen, but it might have some relevance. That's really weird that, like, you just don't get the chance to do it. I'm sorry, but I can think of no orders to... Yeah, that's what, that's what happens, you know? That's weird. That's really weird. Do people have to die? Is that what's happening? I guess I'll just spend all my XP on goodies, then. No reason not to, theoretically. I like that they let you put it in, but, like, this does encourage you to never have XP, you know? Good work. Because if you're, like... Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of new tank stuff as well that I haven't bought. Um... So, yeah, I literally just hit down here and, like, oh, yeah, there's all this. So we've been using the Galleon 4, and it splits into Galleon A1, S1, and X1. So this has worse aim, but it defense downs. This has better range, and this one has more damage. So this is the Mags M4, this is the Mags M10. Big jump, especially since these are pretty logical and in order. This is the Mag X M1. Is that supposed to be like a magic spell? Is that the reference here? I'll just go with straight firepower boost. I don't know if there's like a way to pick who's using what. Firepower M01. And this is just the land car, yeah. Whole bunch of sniper stuff. Accuracy boost, firepower boost, or added effect. Aim down. Brondel. Brundle M101X, Bundle M1, GSR10. Cool. Okay. Spare tread, drive system. Side of greater expansion capacity. Plus one ammo.
Does that mean like one more round in the shot or? Ooh, boy. So what's this extra mag? What are these? Steel alloy plate. Wait, how do I take it out? Okay, cool. Coil spring. Tread defense. I don't really care about that. What I want is more gun. Side upgrade. Two by one. Spare tread. One by two. Three by one. I think I can grab that. This is this is a lot of fun because we get the attache case from Resident Evil. Look at that. Look at that. So we have Spare Belt, which gives us more Tread HP. We have Leaf Spring, which gives us more Tread Defense. We have way more Tread Defense here. So we can actually get rid of Leaf Spring if we want. Hardened Plate gives us more Crit Defense. Yeah, actually. We want steel oil plate because this gives us 50, but this gives us 70. And since we just spent a huge, like, three on tread defense, yeah, why bother with 10 defense when we could have 25? Um, and then this gives us 70 instead of 50. Then we have five more accuracy. And I could get rid of this whenever I have something better to put there. And then we have extra mag and a rear magazine. So I could also get rid of this whenever I, whenever I need to. Yeah, okay, cool. I want to show... I, I mentioned not showing these on screen, but I do want to show a couple of them every so often. Just for the sake of showing people where my, my stats are and where my gear is. I should have saved. Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Are we going to get more with uh, more interjurisdictional friction? Hey, Welkin. There was this awesome quote that I heard that was spoken during the Cold War, I think. The the quote is, um, our adversary... Oh, God. It was... Uh, I'm trying to remember what it is. The quote was spoken by a member of the army, I think. And he said, our adversary is the Russians. But our enemy is the Navy. <laughs> like, the United States Navy is the enemy of the United States Army, but both of them have the adversary of the Russian, like, uh, forces. And, like, that's so fucking funny to me. Like, look, we got problems, but one of them is all the red tape and problems that come from having a huge unit like this. You got called in too, Faldio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. We need you to come in. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. Ooh. We all gonna bring girls a date? What? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. Awesome. The event will be held tomorrow. About time I got some cool respect. Oh. It's interesting to really see Welkin put in this position stuff. because, like, initially he was some idiot who didn't know shit from his butt. But now he's like a cool war hero and he knows war stuff. And then we have to introduce him to social situ situations. And he doesn't know anything about that. 
not like he can have Isara stand by and like be in the tank as he navigates social situations. What are you crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? I feel like they also might try to start doing like an Oscar at Ray with uh, the princess and Alicia. They say that House Rangris, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. So does that mean that she can also like activate Super Saiyan? If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an. I heard the her. awfulest thing the other day. My brother, who is seven and has never seen Dragon Ball Z, said "Go Super Saiyan" in reference to getting serious and like getting stronger. Like he said, "I'm gonna go Super Saiyan while playing Minecraft," and like he doesn't know what Dragon Ball Z is. He doesn't know why that means that. All he knows is that Super Saiyan is what people say when they're going to get serious or get stronger. And he doesn't know the origin or meaning of it. Worrying on many levels, but also annoying because who doesn't know Dragon Ball Z? And like, Christ, I think he was born after Super started airing. And like, Super isn't even that amazing. So, it's not like it's not his fault, but, you know. Well yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I hope that's an alt costume. I'll meet you both at Castle Randgrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. He's such an asshole. <laughs> He's such a fucking loser. <laughs> All right. A midsummer incident. Maybe there's going to be an attack at the party. Give us an opportunity to see everyone in nice dress uniforms. Has anyone here played Dragon Age Inquisition? I hope they don't mess this up. <laughs> at one point, you have to go to a nice fancy dinner party. Sorry to keep you, Captain. And everyone is in fancy clothes, but like you're in uniform, but fancy clothes, but still in uniform. Goodness, well done. And like you do have you. to fight and get covered in blood and and kill and navigate social situations and defend yourself from assassins and like brawl and like all like all of those all the normal things that you do in Dragon Age, but also in like the basement of a fancy party or on the ballroom. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. Comb your hair and everything, god damn. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. Soon, soon. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Is that... Is that Mrs. Puff? I wouldn't know because I only just started watching Spongebob, but... My wife really likes Spongebob, but wow, I never okay. saw it growing up. No grass stains or anything. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I never watched it growing up, but my wife loves Very it, so funny, I've been watching Baldio. it. Very funny, Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. I've been boycotting them. <laughs> that hat's awesome and shut up. Although I do actually like the little hat that Welkin has. Hey, don't you all look nice. Yeah, of course, we're going to get a photo op here. Oh, there's been more Valkyria games besides the four that I know about. There's Valkyria Revolution. And that's the most recent one by the looks of it. No, four. I, I shouldn't get distracted. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. Like, not the Empire of the Federation? I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. That would be the most logical course of action. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. Yes, but neutrality in the name of fascism is nothing but more fascism, Faldio. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. <laughs> With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Captain Verrat is apparently not Mrs. Puff, but she is in Final Fantasy 13 and 10. 
Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. <laughs> It's about time to enter. Yeah, she's Elma and Udaleska in Final Fantasy X. That fancy door is very reminiscent Thank of the ruins we saw. On this occasion, might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. The hat's now, a little stupid, I'll say. Join together. Galio <laughs> and the Federation pledge their allegiance cool. as we seek to build together. An eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. Don't worry. But, while we, we can Cordelia imagine. While Princess remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's... Is this going to be a thing where, like, the promise. smallest country is the no one with the, like, most, earth. like, righteous, righteous claim to Europa? Is that not so, Princess? Yes, I draw strength from the Valkyrian blood. I feel like this dude's. Hey, he's a she's got a spear as well. Hmm. Well, I got tired standing up, so I'll sit back down. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, Your Highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. I like your hustle. With bountiful stores of Ragnite. And your strategic position between East and West, you'll become the foundation I of feel like I feel like she's being real politic, you know? In this time of peril, like, people are putting the moves on her. And happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> they just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. Yeah, but they're not doing it right this very it second. It's hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify like, your claw your way to do what you need banners. to do. <laughs> All of Europa. Big old photo op. There's something we haven't heard before. Look, they're in war, there's war almost so nothing more moral than revanchism. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast. For the shining future that awaits. They give this Cheers. a big box in Cheers. the book. Maybe because it's such a like significant event, but like where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home well. Oh, he's a rebel. Faldio. I know you're like an isolationist or whatever, dude, but like, chill. There's this quote, I believe it's from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, um, one of the like classical, most important like Chinese novels ever written. Uh, I don't know the exact quote because it's written in Chinese and I don't speak it, but it translates Lucy to that which has been divided will inevitably uh, unite and that which has been united will inevitably divide. Um, and it's just in reference to how like kingdoms and countries will, if they're huge and like this big empire, will obviously, of course just naturally fall apart and descend into a civil war or regular war or get conquered or break apart in some manner. And if you have a bunch of little guys, eventually they're always going to team up and become a bigger one guy, you know? We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh. Yeah, okay. I kind of figured that it would go bad. Did anyone think to bring a handgun? Princess Cordelia. Wait, what? I, I'm so. Oh, I thought sorry. that she got clubbed over the back of the head. 
but instead we've made a gap, even worse. I like, I, if I just had to shoot my way out of the royal palace, I'd feel better about this. But now we've 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 stubbed the princess's toe. I feel bad. Like I'm the bad guy now. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. <laughs> had I not forgiven you, the spiky the spiky horn on my stupid unicorn hat would have pierced your heart. Again, the spirals as well. Your Highness, it was on the lance and it was on the hat. I mean, naturally, unicorn horns are naturally spirally, but. Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? <laughs> Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I. Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. Yeah, that tracks. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. Borg, huh? The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Did your mom Their die young? protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. But you can also write laws. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness. Do you copy? It's me. The okay, yeah. Alone. Now is Somehow I, I figured. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. Wait! Hold it, Verrat! Oh, it's Damon. Barat, terrible news. General Damon, what's the problem? Is everyone going to be fighting in either pajamas or fancy dress? Because that would be funny. Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? It can't be. Yes, it was that Federation ambassador. He was a spy all along. That escalated pretty so quickly. The Federation takes her under their protection and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Barak, you've got to get her back! And then this is how we win your respect, Understood. huh? Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yeah, I really hope all of them are in some goofy state yes, of undress. Captain. Like, you know Largo's gonna have, like, his armor on over, like, a tank top and, like, a t like, like, heart, heart-shaped underwear, you know? Heart boxers. Like that. <laughs> I would love to own a pair of like boxes with little hearts on them, but I feel like the second you get that, everything in the universe conspires to like pants you, you know? Hey, Casey, what is that thing? It's a plane. It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW1. Now research is going on all over the world. I like that they've adopted the fact that this is the second year open war. I wonder. I wonder what the what the case of that was initially, because I know that like World War One was, of course, not called that until the second one came around. Um, Whoa! So this is what one of those things looks like. I know they called it the Great War one. initially as well. Oh. And I imagine at some point it was probably Please. called like the Germany England War, maybe something like that. Germany hyphen England. Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Are we going to get to use those? Because that's pretty interesting. Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. Oh, is this how Isara is going to become like own? a battlefield person? Because I feel like she's going to for I'm real be on the battlefield at some my point. Father collected before his death. Mm. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird watching when he mentioned it. Yeah, makes sense. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project. You ever think about how, like, the first flight took place essentially at the start of this of the century? Last century. Oh, that's real sweet. Um, and then like commercial proper commercial flights were in the sixties. 
Hey, sorry, can I ask you a favor? Like, think about think Please, about all of human history, which is loosely about airplane. like five hundred, like five thousand five hundred to like six thousand ish years what? of history. No airplanes, right? Like a hundred and twenty years ago, somebody got an airplane off the ground, and then sixty years ago, you could put a bunch of people in it. I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. It's interesting Please. that Isara is so good at being an engineer, despite the fact that she's like homegrown. Oh yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Oh, maybe this is how they become relevant. You don't mind? like if Leon and and maybe it's like an order. Th ah. Maybe I shouldn't try to preempt not. it and guess. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R and D for Maybe a while. it's gonna be a thing like you pay a command point, of course. and it works like an order, well, you but you both. like order a strike or a strafe, and those two come All by in the right. plane. That's that's the emergency siren. Nerds detected in hangar. Open What's fire. At this hour. Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. No, your filthy hands will dirty this machine of beauty. Uh, that was a quick and easy 30 minutes. Or 40 minutes. Uh, so I guess we'll start the next episode off with a fight. But until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. Thank you guys for coming. I had a good time. I hope you did too. See you guys next time. Bye.